It's been a while since The Real Housewives of Miami went off the air, but a lot of people are still wishing that the show had been as long-lasting as other Real Housewives franchises, such as New York and Beverly Hills. The show went off the air after just three seasons in November 2013, but fans still want to see the show come back. Will we ever get a fourth season of The Real Housewives of Miami? And why was the show canceled in the first place if it was so popular? According to executive producer Andy Cohen, there were a couple of pretty big reasons that the show was canceled. After acknowledging that people ask him all the time about reviving the Miami series, he revealed in an Instagram story, "...the reason that we let it go was, I remember the ratings went down toward the end of the season, which never happens. Like, it went down for the reunion. And if it's going down toward the end, that's just never a good sign." Andy also revealed that another major reason the show was canceled had to do with one of its biggest draws. Cohen said that cast member Marisol Patton's mother, Mama Elsa, dropped out of the production for health reasons, which he described as being a big hit to the series. Not long afterward, he said, it just ended. While the show coming back might have been possible if Mama Elsa signed on for the ride, she tragically passed away in 2019 at the age of 84. Andy Cohen paid tribute to the icon on Watch What Happens Live. We have met many friends and relatives of the wives, but rarely has someone's spirit, humor, and wisdom made such an indelible impression as Elsa's did. Andy previously said on Twitter that the odds of The Real Housewives of Miami getting a reboot in the future are low. While TMZ reported in 2017 that Bravo was looking at starting another Real Housewives franchise in Florida, nothing came of it at the time. It looks like fans won't be tuning in to any Real Housewives drama in the Sunshine State anytime soon, unless the stars of other series head there for a cast vacation. Hi, ladies! It isn't only fans of the series who want to see The Real Housewives of Miami come back on the air in one form or another. In 2019, cast member Lisa Hochstein spoke to Page Six concerning her feelings about a potential reboot. Lisa revealed that she and her former co-stars, Alexia Echevarria, Marisol Patton, and Adriana De Mora, have remained close. As she put it, who wouldn't be interested in a reboot? The year before, Adriana, Alexia, and Lisa had a mini-reunion on their own terms, gathering at a private dinner hosted by Lisa to benefit Make-A-Wish Southern Florida. Real Housewives of Miami star Leah Black hasn't made a secret of the fact that she was less than pleased with the show's cancellation. According to her, the show not working out had to do with Bravo, not the show's cast. In a 2016 episode of her YouTube show, Lunch with Leah, she discussed the show's cancellation and tried to be diplomatic about the slim prospects of the series' return. Discussing the possibility of a revival, she said, "...because I'm respectful of Bravo and respectful of the network, I don't want to speak on their behalf. I just try to sidestep the question because I don't think it's my place to say anything." One of the reasons why The Real Housewives of Miami didn't manage to grab the long-term success of other shows in the franchise might have to do with the fact that it wasn't originally supposed to be a Real Housewives show at all. When the show's first season was being filmed, it was reportedly supposed to be an unrelated program called Miami Social Club, a reworking of the short-lived Bravo series Miami Social. After filming was completed, however, Bravo decided to turn the show into a Real Housewives franchise. Speaking to her fans, Leah said, "...I always feel like Miami didn't have its own identity." which might have a little something to do with why it didn't stick around. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs and reality shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.